Hello and welcome back to the tutorial. In this video I want to talk about another way of obtaining data from websites. A lot of websites provide so-called APIs which allow us to download data from them in a pre-structured way. One very popular format for these APIs is the JSON format which we're going to use in this video. In order to do some analysis, we again uh, load the tidyverse library, and in this case, we're also loading the JSON lite library, which allows us to parse those JSON files. Here, we're using the API of the World Bank to obtain data on the population of Austria. So again, we save the URL as a string, and then use this from JSON uh, function from the JSON li library to download the JSON file and kind of pre-process it from this API URL. As we can see, we have downloaded a list with two elements. And the first element is just some general information here which is again a list and then it, it kind of gives us four uh, general information data here. And the second one is the actual data frame with uh, 57 observations and five variables. So in order to select the data, I am subsetting to the second element using the double square brackets operator here and then I am piping this into select, value, and date to get the population column and the date column from this country data data frame or country data list. So as we can see now, the AT population now has just the values of the number of people living in Austria and the year of the observation course we can also return this. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon.